Hello, it's Renee. I am binge gaming. It's more of my sweet zombie. I'm getting through this. A week passed, has passed since Liam and I swapped shifts, and ever since then I have never felt more relaxed. Free time I never used to have has been uh, used to do stuff I have been putting off for months. That's nice. You should do stuff you like. Your life shouldn't just be about work. Especially when you don't like your job. Like, what's the point of just working every fucking day? And then not doing anything you like? There's no point. In addition to catching up to required media and literature, as Nerian puts it. Mm. <laughs> I was so surprised by that twist. It was nice though that they ended up realizing their feelings for each other in the end. <laughs> Especially since they went through so much together. <laughs> right, that webcomic almost always tucks my heartstrings. <sighs> Who knew webcomics could tell such an enthralling story? Okay, so the next one you have to read is... Oh. Furthermore, as I had promised, I had been helping Crystal learn how to do basic household chores and look to cook simple stuff herself. No, when I'm not home. So today we're having chicken adobo. <sighs> Thus, the first thing we need is to wash the rice and cook it before anything else. Crystal, could you help please wash the rice for me? Mm. Okay. Mm. Alright now, I'll go start on the frying. The veggies in need. Hmm. Why do I smell dish soap? Uh, because I'm washing the rice huh? with dish soap. Huh? Isn't that how you wash it? Oh, good lord. Not for food. <laughs> there have been some mistakes made. But overall, she's a fast learner, has been picking up stuff here and there. Thankfully, now I have more help around the house. You have a big house for... Or an apartment for someone like you, you know, just out of college. However, one thing has occurred to me since Crystal has started living here, and that's... Crystal puts down the switch. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Um, when, when was the last time you washed that shirt? Mm. Yesterday? Ugh. Oh, you did wear something <sighs> else. No. I don't have any other clothes. <sighs> so you basically walked around at na the house naked waiting for your shirt to be washed? Uh. Yeah. I knew it. I didn't want to admit it, but now the undeniable truth is in my face. I've been neglecting Crystal by having her only wear the t-shirt around the house. I can't. It can't stay like this. I have to buy her new clothes. The only problem is that I can't take her shopping with me. As soon as someone sees her, they'll shoot her in the head. I don't think they'll shoot her in the head. I mean, she does look... Not human, I mean blue skin and all, but... I don't think the first thing they'll do is like shoot her in the head. They'll say, oh, cool cosplay, I think. I don't think they'll shoot her in the head. Where are you living where you expect the first person you meet to have a gun? America? <laughs> I'm sorry. And we're still about two weeks from Halloween to pull off the it's a costume excuse. What should I do? I just have to figure something out. I could bring someone else to help me. I don't want to you know, put Crystal in any danger, but I do also don't want to go shopping alone. Oh, oh maybe I could ask Liam. Mm. Let me text him and see if he's available. <laughs> it looks like he is. I feel bad that Liam has to go out of his way to help me. Don't feel bad. I'm glad, but I'm glad I don't have to go alone anymore. However, the more important matter has to be dealt with. I walk over to Crystal on the couch. Hey Crystal, you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Mm. Not really, I can't say I'll answer the, all of them. Mm. That's fine, what clothing size are you? Mm. Medium? You have preference for clothes? Yeah. Not really, as long as it's practical I'll wear it. What about underwear? What bra size <sighs> are you? 36G? Huh? Okay, G? You're a chica? Um. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> 
Nothing. I'm sorry. I just got surprised. But thank you. I'll be back yeah. soon. Gonna stay safe then. I will. Take care of yourself. Please do. Can't wait to surprise her. I mean, <sighs> that was kind of obvious. Is this seriously going in clothes shopping for me? Yeah. She was so obvious about it. You ask it. What other purpose do you have for asking for clothes si sizes? I wait outside the store. Mm. I wonder when Liam will be here. Ah. Hey there, Sam. Ah. He's right here. Oh, good morning, Liam. Uh -huh. Morning to you, too. So, you wanted help shopping for some clothes? This for yourself? <laughs> no, it's for a friend of mine. Mm. As a gift of sorts? <laughs> of sorts? Oh. Well, it's kind of a gift, but she also kind of needs them. Mm. Gee, heesh, that... Well, that's an indirect way of saying your friend has a shitty fashion sense. <gasps> no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm kidding, cheese, relax. You're so easy to tease, Sam. But I'll help you shop for your friend. You know what she likes? Um, she said the practical uh -huh. stuff. Got it. Then uh, a couple of t shirts and jeans would probably do. Let's head inside. Uh. Ah, right. Uh. My voice is going. Shoot. I've been talking almost for an hour and my voice is going. I love it. How about this dress? Uh huh. Yeah, that looks nice. It will be uh, great to wear out. Oh. oh, she can't wear it out, but she'll wear it oh. around the house. Huh? <laughs> You're oh. being weird. <laughs> oh, this pajama is, uh, it looks cute. I should probably buy this for her too. Oh. Oh, but this one had desert pattern on it, so she loves sweets and she might like that one. Uh, I can't decide. Okay, but I should buy both. <sighs> You're gonna buy her an entire wardrobe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, look at this socks. You think... <clears throat> Sam? Mm -hmm. um... You... You think you might be buying too much for your friend? I look at Liam struggling to hold all the clothes I got. <gasps> <laughs> Liam, I'm so sorry you hear the me out. No, it's fine, I got it. I'm so sorry, I just like shopping. I was having so much fun with you. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, I'm having fun with you too. Though I admit, I was kind of worried you invited me here to be your pack mule. <gasps> uh, I didn't, I swear. <laughs> well, if you did, I wouldn't mind. Want to keep looking though? Yeah, sounds good. Leon and I continued to show for clothes together and were chatting with each other at the same time. The conversation jumped from one topic to the next. Somehow, the topic has stranded on this crystal. <laughs> Does it still think you're talking about a cat? So you see, she wanted to surprise me, but to try by making a dinner on her own but she didn't realize she swapped the measurements for salt with the sugar so in the end we basically had sweetened mashed potatoes for dinner but i still appreciated the effort yeah. really you sure she didn't do it intentionally mm. given how much she hates eating vegetables she might have but i can't really get upset at her she's done so much for me how so well I reflect on how Crystal's existence has led to many changes into my daily life. Before her, I never baked as I felt guilty because I thought I was wasting my time by not doing more productive things. But now I've been baking regularly and don't feel as guilty for enjoying the task as she's given me a reason to do it. Not to mention, inadvertently, she's been fixing my bad habits of not eating and having regular sleeping schedule. But since I feel the need to take care of her and make sure she's ex exercising you know, good habits, I've been unintentionally doing the same for me. Moreover, she always listened to me when I went about work or whatever troubles I have without judgement. Even offering me advice, which has made work easier to deal with and handle. But really, it's all of those things. Yeah, I'm back in my closet. I'm back all sitting on a punching bag and my ass hurts. 
I genuinely worry about her company and John <laughs> Shoot, where the hell did I get worry? Excuse me. I genuinely enjoy her company, whether it's having her cook with me in the kitchen or watching a horror movie together. The way she can be cold and plant one moment but also show moments of vulnerability and be by shy. Be shy. How her smiles and laughter are rare but always genuine. Crystal is someone important and special to me. She's special to me. Just being with her makes me warm and happy. She can come off as distant, but she's truly a very kind person who just has trouble of expressing herself. But that doesn't mean she's a cold person, on the contrary. I think she's one of the most passionate and soft-hearted people I know. Aww. Um... Wow. Um, I suddenly feel embarrassed for some reason. That's some serious sweet things to say about one person I like to say nice thing about things about people I care about yeah. <sighs> she says that she says because of that I'm embarrassingly sweet uh-huh I can tell by the way out of curiosity when did you and crystal meet oh no uh... why why do you ask mm. just re recently you seem to have changed is it a bad change? Nah. No, no, not at all. I mean, we've known each other for two and a half years, and you've always seemed a bit fragile. Thanks. Not like in the way men call girls fragile, don't look at me like that. <clears throat> I meant you seem stressed a lot and seem to be on the brink of falling apart. Thanks. I've always wanted to try and help you out, or at least talk to you, but since we were, weren't that close, I was sure it wasn't my business. But when I tried to hang out with you to get to know you better, you were always busy with school or something. Uh... So I eventually stopped asking, since I felt I was being a bother at that point. Then I tried to help out in any way I could while we were at work, and tried to make things easier for you. But well, you were kind of a reluctant to accept my help, and I didn't want to force it on you either. I think of the numerous times in the past that Liam had asked to hang out after work, or I had offered you know, to take some of the task off my hands, and I realized he was right. Despite him constantly reaching out to me, I never really took up on any of his offers. I had been pressured by my parents to get good grades in college, so the majority of my time had been spent studying, leaving me with no free time, which is why I couldn't hang out with Liam. And at the time he had offered to help, I had still been afraid to be a burden to others, so I tried to handle everything on my own, even when he offered his help. Even before Crystal, Liam had us always tried to help me out. I can't believe how I just realized it. <laughs> but over the last couple of weeks you've changed. You seem more relaxed and confident. And that's because of Crystal, right? Maybe, yeah. I knew it. <sighs> you know, I'm kind of jealous of Crystal. As selfish as it is to say. Huh? What? Why? I don't know, she was able to help you so much in just a few weeks, and I've known you for two <sighs> years, and yet I couldn't do the same for you. Aww. I felt taken aback by this sudden confession for Liam. Not to mention how genuinely he seemed to feel guilty that he couldn't have done more for me. But he shouldn't think that because... He's special to me too. Uh... I just... Maybe I didn't try hard enough to reach out to you. I wonder if I tried harder, I could have done the same for you. <gasps> Don't say that. <sighs> it's true that Crystal helped me out. Uh, but, uh, so have you. Like, when I took you, took in that stray cat, you immediately gave your help to me. I like, I have liked that say, that having Crystal come into my life has given me a chance to get to know you better. I've liked that. I now have someone to call and text when I need someone to talk to or if I'm bored. I really like your company and you always make me smile and laugh. 
Like this whole time we've been shopping together, I kept thinking about how much it is to be with you and how much I like having you around. So you shouldn't feel any regret. If anything, I regret, regret that I didn't take your offers of hanging out earlier because I missed out on the possibility of us ha having so much more enjoyable memories together. You're a bright, cheerful, passionate and wonderful person. And you should never feel bad about not trying enough to help me because you've done more than enough. <laughs> so please, don't ever think you didn't help me out. I, um, I think I see what Crystal meant by embarrassingly sweet. Hmm. <laughs> but I meant everything I said. That somehow makes it worse. <laughs> oh, I wish I could compliment people like that. How does it make it worse? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <sighs> Thanks, though, Sam. I'm glad you think that of me. Honestly, I'm happy we've gotten closer recently, or I wouldn't have loved you were such an amazing person yourself. Thanks, but I think you and Crystal are more amazing. <laughs> Give yourselves some credit. You have an effect on people. I mean, other than the need to want to protect you and help you out. I don't know if that's a good thing. You were, you're also a genuinely good person and you're sincere. You make others feel special and needed. Thanks. Hmm. It's okay. Okay, that's way too many nice and serious things out of my mouth. I think I would like to say something dumb and stupid to balance it hmm. out. Please don't. <laughs> okay. We should probably get back to looking at stuff though. Oh, oh right. Ah, good idea. Liam and I continue shop for Crystal. We got a few more things and we were about to head to the register to buy it, but just then a beautiful dress catches my eye. Oh, how pretty. Mm. That's a nice dress. Are you gonna get that for Crystal mm. too? I can't imagine her wearing it. It's not really practical. Oh, that's yeah. true. How about you try it on? Huh? What? I can't do that. I I came here just to shop for my friend. I mean, if you ask me, you've done enough shopping for your friend. He just just the pile of clothes he's holding. Uh. Besides, I think it's fine for you to look something for yourself too. Um. It's not just that. I've I've never had many positive experiences shopping for clothes for myself. Uh. Hmm? It's just hard to explain, but due to my body type, clothes shopping can be stressful for me. And I, as I always have a hard time finding clothes that fit right. And sometimes I look silly when I try certain clothes on. I see, but that's not the point of trying it on. Isn't the point of you know, trying it on to see if it fits hmm. you? Yeah, that's uh -huh. true. And you don't have to show me how it looks, so if you don't like it, you can just take it off and we'll go on our merry oh. way. That sounds good. <laughs> and if you do decide to show me, and if anyone says anything, I'll kick their ass for you. <sighs> but look, I won't force you. If you really don't want to try it on, I won't <sighs> force you. No, I'll give it a try. <laughs> cool, let's head to the fitting room then. <laughs> You're so smug. Liam and I had walk over to the fitting room to talk to the associate who then lets me in a room. Maybe this was a mistake. I could always not try it on and just say I didn't like it and leave. But that would be lying. Besides, Liam would never make fun of me and would defend me if anyone said anything. I should trust him. Okay, let's do this. I finished slipping on the dress and... It's, it looks nice. The dress hit my thighs perfectly, even though it was still on the short side. In addition, the sleeves didn't make my shoulders seem broad. I I look kind of cute in this dress. It was a first for me to actually enjoy trying something on in the fitting room. It probably helped that I had encouragement from Liam. I should probably go show him. I step out of the fitting room to show him the dress. Um... Um... What do you think? He's blushing. <clears throat> yeah, Liam? Huh? Huh? S sorry, what did you say? I asked you how it looked. Uh -huh. I knew it looks weird. Uh -huh. 
not so what's over you don't look weird at all you actually look super cute like like really really cute i was even taking aback how cute you look in it oh we heard giggles from other customers and sales associates in the fitting room who had heard liam's loud proclamation mm. yeah duh. me and my big fat mouth liam yeah <laughs> thank you you're welcome <clears throat> But really, the dress looks really nice mm. on you. Yeah, I kind of think so too. Maybe I should uh -huh. buy it. You should totally buy it. Be a real shame if you didn't. The sale, a sales associate then pipes in. I agree with him on this one, hon. That dress looks really good on you. And I'm not saying this because I work here, but you've got the legs to pull off that dress. Uh? See, even she agrees with yeah. me. Um, 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 the um, dress looking good on you part, not the nice legs part. Ah. Not to say you don't have nice legs, I mean, the deals on you, I need to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I should buy it. <laughs> and if you don't, I'm sure your boyfriend would be eager to buy it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us tried to correct her. <laughs> you guys are cute. <laughs> How do we left the fitting room, the end? And I stopped into the line. It seems we were in a wait. Though the line was long due to the sales the stores was having. So be since we'll be in the line for a while, maybe I should try and start a conversation to help pass the time. Wait a minute, what? You know, I realized despite knowing Liam for almost three years, I've only gotten to know him recently. If it hadn't been for him offering to give me advice on Crystal, I probably wouldn't have gotten to know hang out with him like this. Bleh. He even went out of his way to find someone to cover his shift to help me. I should find a way to thank him somehow. Maybe I could make him something. Liam. Eh? Huh? What do you like? Mm. What do I like? Uh. Hmm. I mean, I like manga, anime, video games, I'm into bubble tea shops too. <laughs> no, not like that, I've c but good to know. Sorry, I meant what do you like as food-wise? <laughs> oh, I like sushi and tacos. Hmm. What about sweets? Yeah. Sweets? Um... Well, I've never been really into sweets. Oh, oh. not even chocolate? Nah. Yeah, def definitely not chocolate. Are you, <laughs> Are you a werewolf? They mentioned werewolf earlier, and I've been getting dog vibe from him. And now chocolate, he can eat chocolate. <clears throat> I don't like the taste much. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, <laughs> but hey, I would be happy with whatever you made me. And I might not like chocolate, but I do like peanut butter. What did I tell ya? <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, I guess it was obvious. I wanted to find a way to thank you for doing so ah. much for me. It's fine, honestly. I'm just super happy that you thought of me and wanted to give me a gift. Ugh. Though, now the surprise is ruined. No, it isn't. I think instead of making you something handmade, I'll just give you a gift card or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> what about your handmade desserts? Ugh. Well, you said you didn't like sweets. Now it won't be a real surprise. And you did say you're fine with anything. Oh. I lied. I'm not fine with anything. Yeah. I really want to try your cooking. Mm. Please don't give me a gift card. <laughs> yeah. mm. Please, Sam. Um, got you. Oh. Huh? Mm. I was going to make you sweets anyway, but I wanted to tease you a bit for, to pay you back for earlier. You? Mm. You little minx. <laughs> you. <laughs> I guess I don't need to uh, voice that already. Alright, alright, stop rubbing it in my face. It's our turn next. Oh no, I'm totally going to hold it against you that you begged me to cook for you. Ow. Ugh, I have created a monster. <laughs> Thank you again, Liam, for coming with me. <laughs> it's no problem, Sam. It's going to work anyways. Um, Is everything okay at work? I know you offered to switch, but if afternoon gets too stressful, we can always switch back. Nah. Nah, it's fine. 
I even prefer how fast-paced the afternoon is compared to how boring the opening is. Ugh. I don't even know how you can enjoy it. It always stresses me out. I'm not sure why I was always so exha um. exhausted. Um, maybe because you didn't take your breaks and lunches at all. That's because I couldn't. Everyone needed me on the floor to help mm. them. Well, they didn't need you just stay for them. Huh? What is that supposed to oh. mean? Fuck, wait, don't be upset. I didn't mean that in a bad way. I just meant, look, Sam, you kind of you know, bend yourself backwards trying to please everyone. And I think that's why you got burned out so fast. You kept trying to push yourself just to help others. It was almost like you were afraid to disappoint them if you weren't constantly at their beck and call. And it was honestly hard to watch. I'm so sorry that you think wanting to help other people and being there for them is so bad. That's not what I meant at all. What I meant is... I should head home now. Good night, Liam. Sam, wait, I'm sorry. You didn't hear the rest of what Liam said, but he's right. You can't be everywhere, they, like, especially when they don't do the same for you. Like, people have to also learn how to ask for help. Because not everyone will just see that they're struggling. I left as quickly as, uh, as possible, as I didn't want to you know, see him, him to see me crying from what he said. How could he say that to me? I mean, I know what he, he said those things out of concern, but the way he said it made it sound like I was some pathetic pushover who couldn't reject anyone. What's so bad about pushing yourself a little to help others anyway? Because you will burn out. I should get back home. Crystal is waiting for me. I'm back. Uh? Hey, something wrong? No, I, but I need to shower. Okay. Also, here. These are for you. I dropped the bags onto the ground. Why the fuck are there so many bags? I'll start on a dinner after a shower. Aww. Huh? Why are there so many clothes in here? Crystal and I sit across from each other as we eat. However, unlike our usual dinners, there was not the usual chatter. Ugh. Okay, that's fucking it. Ugh. What the fuck happened earlier? You were all perky and happy this morning until you came back from shopping. Huh? Uh, nothing happened. It's fine. Don't lie or I'll be seriously be pissed. Huh. Crystal, do I? Ugh. Do I seem like a pushover huh? to you? Did you just realize huh? it? You think I'm a pushover too? Mm. Two? Did someone finally call you out on it? Ugh. Uh, Liam did. He told me that the reason I got so stressed and tired from work was because I would always put others' needs before me. Well, duh. That's what happens. Or because I was afraid to disappoint mm -hmm. them. Yeah, I can see Ugh. that. But why? Mm. Duh, it's because you're too fucking nice. I mean, just from what you tell me about work, it's pretty obvious that whenever a problem happens, everyone goes to you and asks you to solve their problems. And because you're too nice, you never reject helping <sighs> them. You make yourself so available to them. But is that so bad? Why is it so bad to be afraid to disappoint others? <sighs> it's bad when they start to use you for it. <sighs> I guess I'm no different from them since I'm using huh? you too. What What do you mean by that? I mean, look at me. I'm basically living here without doing any work and you just spent your a whole lot of money on me. And here I am talking shit about your co-workers when I'm probably worse <sighs> than them. Instead of being a monster, I'm more of a parasite. You're not. You never asked me to do those things. It's different from what they're doing to me. <sighs> Everyone else, no matter how tired I was or stressed, they would ask me for help. But you always held back. You even tried to avoid asking me for help because you knew I was tired and stressed a lot. So I did those things for you because I knew you would never ask me for help unless I did it of my own free will. So don't ever think you're a parasite. Okay. 
but do you really think my co-workers are using me? You said it yourself, sweetie. You said it yourself. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. They might not be doing it intentionally. But like I said, it's just so you're selfless and willing to help them. They just rely on you because it's easier than doing it themselves. Hmm. Uh, there's a point when a person's selflessness can become destructive. Ever heard of a saying, don't take care of you? yourself first then you're not good to others <sighs> if you don't take care of yourself first you won't be any good to others probably that's the way it meant to be said because it's true at some point you would have just tired yourself out from spreading yourself so thin for sake of others huh? also why are you so afraid of disappointing others so huh? much it's not maybe it's like that I pick up my food with um, my phone. Mama. I guess I'm so afraid to disappoint others because of your parents. Yep. It almost felt like my self-worth was tied how well I people thought of me. That if they didn't think me as valuable, I had a hard time thinking of myself being worthy as well. Ugh. It's childhood trauma. First off, that's ridiculous. But it's childhood trauma that happens when you have shitty parents or it doesn't even have to be parents it could be just school anything around you doesn't have to like straight up abusive it's just if your parents weren't there for you you were kind of brushed aside if someone only valued you by how much you could do for them or how available you were to them you they are worth your fucking time. Also, I see Crystal visibly tied in her hold on her utensils. You shouldn't let your self-worth be tied how much you can offer a person. Because some people wouldn't do the same for you. By tying your self-worth to how much you, you know, how much use you can be is only going to keep hurting you. Crystal? She stiffens when she hears her name. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I lost myself for a moment, but that's my two cents on the matter. I think your friend Liam was right. Mm. You can't go on and try to please everyone. I thought about her and what Liam said carefully. I recall the numerous times I pushed myself to do overtime or cover someone's shift despite how tired I was, or the times I didn't take a break or a lunch because I was afraid someone might need me when I was gone. And at many times I wanted to say no to someone at work, but was too scared uh. to. You guys are right. Oh. I really do push myself for the sake of others, huh? Oh. But how do I fix it? It's hard. But you just have to... You stop being so available, I guess? At least stop doing shit. Before they ask. That's how I'm teaching myself not to do it. <sighs> to really start considering your own needs more. No one will judge you for doing you know, what you have to in order to take care of yourself. And if they do, they can kindly fuck off. It's a little easier said than done. Mm. Then start practicing. Okay. Uh, but now I feel bad how I treated Liam. Mm. If that's the case, then tomorrow I'll apologize to him. Yeah, I thought I wish there's more I could oh. do. Just call him. Oh, I think I know what to do. Hmm? I watched the entrance for Liam's arrival. And I'm gonna leave this episode here before I goes on too long. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, comment. Yeah, that's the last one. Um... I hope you have a good day and bye!